biggest NHL bust, Patrick Stefan. Patrick Stefan is often cited as one of the most notable draft busts in NHL history, being drafted first overall in the 1999 NHL draft. Stefan faced immense pressure to perform at that level. Unfortunately, his career was hampered by injuries and he struggled to meet the high expectations set for a top pick. Stefan played the majority of his career with the Atlanta Thrashers before retiring from hockey altogether in 2007. In this episode of Biggest NHL Busts, I explain why Patrick Stefan is one of the biggest NHL busts of all time and what could have been done to fix it. Leading up to the 1999 NHL Draft, Patrick Stefan was highly hyped and considered a top prospect. He had showcased remarkable talent, particularly in his playmaking abilities and skill on the ice. His performance in the junior leagues and international tournament and international tournaments representing Slovakia contributed to the anticipation surrounding his draft selection. Stefan's combination of speed, hockey IQ, and offensive prowess made him a prime candidate for a high draft pick. His potential to become a franchise his potential to become a franchise player was was a significant factor in the hype leading up to its eventual selection as the first overall pick by the Atlanta Thrashers in the 1999 NHL Draft. Patrick Stefan played with the Atlanta Thrashers from their inaugural season in 1999 until he departed in 2006. During his tenure with Atlanta, he put up 64 goals, 124 assists, and 188 points in 414 games. On June 24, 2006, Patrick Stefan was traded to the Dallas Stars along with Yaroslav Modri for Nico Kapanen and a 7th round pick in 2006. The low light of Stefan's career, which basically sums up his career, was when he found himself on a breakaway towards an empty net, but rather than shooting it into the empty net, he attempted a casual backhand from close quarters. The puck ended up hitting a bad patch of ice and bounced up and over his stick, causing him to miss the goal, trip, and fall against the ice. To compound the error, he then cleared the puck in the direction to the Oilers. This allowed the play to develop where Czech forward Alex Hemsky scored with two seconds remaining to tie the game at five. Ultimately, Dallas won the game in a shootout. Patrick Stefan ended up only playing for one season in Dallas, putting up 11 points in just 41 games, and was not re-signed after his contract expired in 2007. Patrick Stefan is often considered a draft bust primarily because his on-ice performance did not match the high expectations set for a first overall pick. Stefan faced numerous injuries throughout the course of his career, which impacted his consistency and ability to reach his full potential. While he showed flashes of skill, his overall statistical output, such as goals, assists, and points, fell below what was anticipated of a first overall pick. Stefan's legacy is often associated with unfulfilled potential and serves as a cautionary tale in the NHL about the unpredictability of a player's development and the draft. The Atlanta Thrashers, the club where he spent the majority of his career, was not very good, to say the least, and the team's inability to build a good team around him added to the perception of his underperformance. Additionally, when compared to the players drafted after him in the same year who achieved significant success, the disparity in performance added to the perception of his bust status. Players such as Henrik and Daniel Sedin, who were drafted after Patrick Stefan, achieved vast accolades and were inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2022. Patrick Stefan might have been a bust no matter what team he got drafted to, because he simply didn't possess the skills necessary to be an elite player at the NHL level. If he got drafted to a better team, he may have maybe prolonged his career and turned into a serviceable role player, but he was never going to be a franchise player. Patrick Stefan is one of the biggest draft busts in NHL history due to his inability to reach his potential and because he was drafted first overall over a slew of other star players. 